Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the question paper analysis of JE paper two. JE paper two, which is conducted for the BR admissions into SPAs and NITs. The exam was conducted on twenty third of June. So there were two shift. First shift was in the morning half, and the second shift one was in the evening half, later towards the evening. So we have already done the analysis of shift one, and the link for the same, the link for the YouTube uh, video has already been put up in the. description box you can also find our students reaction on how exactly they felt like the examination paper and things like that you can find from the description box so two videos we have already provided the link for the same in the description box below in this particular video we would be doing the analysis of the shift 2 that is the afternoon or the evening shift that was conducted for je paper 2 that is br so to start off with generally students felt that uh, the exams were medium or hard if you are comparing shift 1 and shift 2 most of them felt that uh, relatively shift 2 was probably a bit more tougher slightly tougher on the upper side okay now again mathematics appeared to be the toughest in all the topics that is mathematics drawing and aptitude combined together if we are comparing among themselves mathematics was probably the toughest and relatively uh, drawing was probably the easiest okay now uh, one interesting thing which i have highlighted in the previous videos also which i would like to highlight again is that see the general amount of questions that students are doing in case of je paper 2 mathematics is very less most of them are below 10 questions that they have answered so if you are somebody who is good at maths or who can you know conquer maths and uh, you can at least get 10 correct questions in mathematics that would give a profound change in the percentile scores that that you are going to get okay just just sharing some general inputs general references uh, general inferences that i found after discussing with the students okay meanwhile everyone who has already written the exam we would love to see your reactions also below the live chat if everyone is watching everyone is welcome to please share their experience also because ultimately it's not us it's you people who have written the exam okay so regard when i'm talking about the shift 2 on 23rd the exam was uh, relatively easy a uh, drawing paper was relatively easy but the exam was slightly tough or uh, medium to tough level compared to shift 1 then aptitude or non verbal reasoning was again uh, all right mathematics i think most of the times mathematics questions is direct questions only but the thing is it is long it is process oriented you need to put in the steps and there are very less you know shortcuts just like uh, unlike je paper 1 okay then uh, interestingly in this there were a lot of geography history based questions rivers mountain space questions and all were there okay history related questions about certain things being started when they were started and questions like that were there so i think one of the students <coughs> one of our students actually put it saying that it was more of a india awareness rather than general knowledge or architecture awareness there were also some complaints regarding some of the computers of the students not working or uh, they had to change the lab computer lab uh, to get it smooth functioning some of them had their exams run till late night uh, so if you are somebody who has faced similar situations please let uh, the authorities je paper 2 or uh, the conducting authorities that is nta let them know that there have been issues like this we're not sure whether they would, what is the kind of solution that they're going to come up with we are also not sure whether even they would do anything of that sort but again we will uh, it is our duty to let them know that there has been issues like this okay so just a heads up with respect to that now moving on let's start with architecture awareness and uh, general knowledge you had questions on the rivers the full form of cpcb central pollution control board then protocols and convention related questions so this is something which we have been seeing in the last two or three years at least one question with respect to environment or anything related to that is coming up protocols convention terms used in all these things so probably for session 2 that is uh, coming up in the next month you might want to brush up those terms what is net zero what is carbon neutral and various terms uh, in a um, green finance terms like that you might want to you know go through such terms and be familiar with those terms then match the following is a very typical common question which they ask in je with images without images i find them to be personally the most easiest because if you know at least one or two such options correctly it is very easy to eliminate and arrive at the right answer okay uh, fifth uh, there was one question about amar jawan jyoti where it was merged into so national war memorial is uh, 
a monument which was built two or three years ago. So in JE paper two, what I have been finding in the last few years is uh, the last three to four years monuments which have been inaugurated or completed in the last three to four years, they repeatedly ask them. They they ask questions about them, or if they have been in news in the last three to four years, they ask such questions repeatedly. So you might want to brush up those monuments also before you are going for the next uh, session of JE Paper Two. Okay, so National War Memorial is quite famous. In uh, plan, you can see a circular arrangement and all. Go through its uh, various images. It was done by an architect from Chennai. So brush brush those things up. Just be very clear about. Uh, things like monuments or famous buildings which has been or even bridges bridges and all where it has been inaugurated and any any famous building which uh, which has its work that's been completed right now not finished but it's going on so in the last four years whichever was those buildings in india i would suggest you to go through that if you want you can also go to the limits of uh, you know looking at international unesco world heritage sites declared in the last three years okay it's always better to be over prepared in exams like this okay Vienna Peace Pact was something out of the blue, uh, so I agree that uh, that would have been a bit tougher for most, a bit tough for most of the students. It was tough for me also. I also couldn't uh, get the answers, answer for that. Uh, so in questions like that, what I want, uh, what I would suggest is that see, there there would be one or two questions from students who've currently reached NIT Calicut or SPA Delhi for VR and all. Most of them, what they say is that in the aptitude section of 50 questions, one or two questions would be there which would be bounces. So respect those bounces, leave them. That's the best thing that we can do. Okay. But answer all the other questions. Okay. Then there was probably a question about a book, the death and life of an American architect or probably the death and life of great American cities. I'm not sure about which one that is. We have to wait when the answer keys and all are going to come up so that we get an exact question. Uh, match the following questions were again asked. Documentary based questions which has been trending in the last couple of years has been asked then. Aga Khan award questions. Aga Khan is again an important award. Pritzker Prize, Aga Khan, Dribba's gold medal. These are all awards that are quite important in architecture. So Aga Khan award is something that's given only once in three years. It's much easier to go through that. So have an idea about all that. <clears throat> again, Hall of Nation is a building which was I think demolished a few years ago. That is in use. It's basic fundamental building unit. That question was also there. So go through all of that. Taj Mahal, that was also a bit difficult question. A couple of statements were given. I think compared to Yamuna, uh, Yamuna's location, there were statements about that given. And this statement type of questions is increasing. Statement one, statement two, you compare both of that. Are both of them correct or is it just one correct? So such kind of questions are increasing. So it is almost like there are two questions in that question itself. There are two sub questions in that question itself. Okay. So you need to have extra information, extra knowledge, extra reading and all is inevitable. Okay. Climatology based questions, very, very important. Summer solace days, then longest river crime, climatic problems faced in hilly regions. Three to four questions, every, every JE paper two, you will have climatology based questions. Very, very important. Okay. Summer solace days, sun, then uh, again, geography based questions, Garokasi, Garokasi, Jayantia. Might be might have been a bit difficult for some of the questions, for some of the students, because it's in the northeast again. So Gharo Kasi you can find in Meghalaya. Okay. Then certain questions from current affairs also. Okay. So again, reiterating some important points in terms of architecture awareness, a little bit of historical monuments, monuments completed in the last four years are going on. Construction is going on. Then climatology-based questions. All these questions are, all these areas are important. Environment, conventions, protocols, all these topics are important. Books and documentaries, all these are quite important. Okay. This was quite an easy question. Say, tropic question, 18, uh, the one that's mentioned here. Hyder Alev Center and Burj Khalifa was quite easy to figure out, right? Uh, I think something which would have been difficult was probably Indian Habitat Center. But again, to most of the students who are reaching SPA Delhi, they will be asked to visit Indian Habitat Center. They will have to study about uh, Indian Habitat Center and its case study and all. It's such an important monument done by the legendary uh, Joseph Allenstein. It was also done I am I am Calicut, if my memory is correct. Okay, so those questions I think were quite expected. Then very basic questions on civil uh, engineering, very very basic, which you could do with even ten standard mathematics. Such kind of questions were also asked. I think similar question was there to calculate the height of the floats. I think in that also that was there. Okay. 
Then, so, so that was arc awareness and uh, general knowledge based questions. Then drawing questions were sort of most expected. In this section, from what I understand, drawing and nonverbal was the were the easiest. Drawing, you had question on scene drawing, you had question on rendering. So these are the kind of questions that are usually asked or usually expected. So most of the students, this was relatively easier, is what uh, we understood. Then there were nonverbal based questions, image based questions, questions based on plan, elevation, front view, and things like that. Those were also quite easy or quite repetitive. Okay. So one thing that was that is a key takeaway in this is that if you can do at least eight, 10 or 12 correct questions in mathematics, that's going to be of huge advantage. Then drawing section and aptitude section, specifically, specifically the nonverbal reasoning questions, they are very much predictable or gettable. So again, you can score really high in such uh, areas. That's again another takeaway. Compared to shift one, I would say with respect to the opinion that we have got from students, it's slightly a bit more tougher. So shift two was slightly a bit more tougher. Okay, we would we would love to hear uh, when uh, we would love to hear what you felt about this. If our Fatima, when can we expect the answer key or response? So usually it happens within the first fifteen days. There would be a challenging option. You might uh, if there is any questions, answer key which you are not happy with. Uh, you can log on and uh, you will be able to raise the complaint. Okay. So we are expecting that in the next few days to come. Once it arrives, we would uh, definitely let you know. Okay. If uh, Fatima, if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, any, any more questions, please let me know in the chat box. Otherwise we would love to uh, end this particular session. We have our batches for uh, NATA. We have separate batches for J paper two. We also have combined batches, NATA and J paper two. We have classes in English, classes in Hindi, Malayalam batches are there. So anyone who is interested can contact us at the number that's provided below. 8086-111-488. Okay. So also questions related to counseling, respective of whether you are a student or not, all those questions, things like that are completely welcome. Okay. So every year we give uh, our think topper is uh, given an iPhone for all. Everyone who tops these exams would be given an iPhone. So again, an iPhone is waiting for every one of you. You could be the next winner. So the only thing that you have to do is that you have to join, think and study really hard. Okay. These, these are all exams which are quite gettable, quite, uh, you know, conquerable. So it, it's not like something beyond your limitations. It's definitely something that is gettable. Okay. So if you want to know any further details, you can contact us. Regarding JE, the last date is approaching for session two. If you haven't applied, please do apply. If there are any queries, you can shoot it to the NTS website or NTS email ID and their contact details here. Okay. So I think that would be it in this particular session. I don't see any further questions that are coming up. Okay. So thank you everyone until we see in the next session. Thank you everyone. Have a good day. Thank you host.